Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to solve this exponential problem and find the values of k that will satisfy this equation. We have k raised to the power of k and this equals 11. Now, you might be thinking, what is that value of k that when you raise it to the power of itself, you are going to have 11? Now, let's start it this way. 2 raised to the power of 2, this equals 4. But we need a number that when once we raise it to the power of itself, we are going to have 11 or it approximates. Now look at it here. If you go over to 3, 3 raised to the power of 3, this is 3 times 3 times 3, which is what? 27 and this number here is above 11 so if that is the case that means 3 is out of the line so the number is within these two so you can study this way maybe 2.5 raised to the power of 2.5 this will give you about 9.8 something. And this is not also up to 11. So you increase it again. Maybe you have 2.6 raised to the power of 2.6. So this can give you approximately about 12 or 11.9 something. This also is above 11. So what you need to do is you reduce it again. That means the range is between 2.5 and 2.6. So that is where the number is. Now all these are trial and error method of solving this problem. But if you want to solve it and find the actual value of k, without doing all this trial and error, how are you going to do it? Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this and get the actual value of k that will satisfy this equation without testing and doing all these things that we have done so far. Now, let's start it this way. We need to introduce log on both part of this equation. In fact, we are going to make use of natural log. So we have ln of k power k equals, we have ln of 11. Now, according to this logarithm property, if you have log of a power b, this equals b times log of a. So you are going to have k times ln of k equals ln of 11. Now, that is not all. What next are we going to do in order to solve this kind of equation? k times ln of k equals ln of 11. What function can we use in order to enable us to solve this problem? Now, look at it here. There is this special function that I want to introduce us to. And the name of that function is what we call the Lambert W function. So, this function goes by, if you take the Lambert W function, this is how it is denoted, Lambert W function, you make use of W. Now, if you take the Lambert W function of a function that is in this form, a times e power a, this will simply produce what we have a. Now also, if you take a lambda w function of maybe a fish, this is how a fish should look like, right? Okay. A fish times e raised to the power of a fish. Right? There's an i here for the fish. There's an i here for the fish. So if you take the lambda W function of a fish times e raised to the power of a fish, you are definitely going to have 
a fish. Have you seen that? This is the eye of the fish. You are going to get a fish again. So, whatever you have here must be the same as whatever you have here. And that is what you are going to get as the result. Now, this is how this function is being used. But you need to make sure that what you have here is in this form or in this form, a times e power a. So we need to manipulate these to be in this form before we can apply this lambda w function. Have you seen that? So how are we going to manipulate this? Now look at it here. If you have e raised to the power of ln of x, this will give you x because e here will eliminate ln. So we can actually replace this k with what we have here, e raised to the power of ln of k, because this will still give us the same thing as k. Now we are trying to manipulate this to be in this form. I believe you are getting me. So we are going to replace this k with what we have here. So we have e raised to the power of ln of k, which is the same thing as k. And we have times ln of k, and this equals ln of 11. Are you following? Now, the next thing is, we need to write this first. Look at it here. What we have here is exactly what we have here. But what is left is for us to rearrange it and write this one first. So you can have ln of k times e raised to the power of ln of k. This is just rearranging. We are rearranging this function here to be exactly just like this. And this equals ln of 11. So at this point, we can apply our lambda w function because this is exactly the same way we wanted it to be. Have you seen that? So we go ahead and apply the lambda w function ln of k times e power ln of k. And this equals the lambda w function of ln of 11. So what do you apply here? The lambda w function, you also apply it here. So based on what I shared to you before that you are going to get a fish back, that means right here, what you are going to get here is ln of k. And this equals lambda w function of ln of 11. Have you seen that? Now, we are solving for k. So what are we going to do? We need to eliminate this ln. And the only way of eliminating this ln is by introducing e again. So we take the e of ln of k and we also take the e of the whole of this function. Are you following? So by doing this, the e here will eliminate the ln. We have k equals e raised to the power of lambda w function of ln of 11. This is our solution. Exactly. This is it. This is the solution. Are you surprised? No, you should not be surprised because if you insert this into a calculator, remember, you can have it as e k equals e raised to the power of this lambda wave function. What you are going to see in your calculator will be product log, product log of ln of 11. So lambda w function, you might not see this w there, you are going to see product log. If you insert this into your calculator, you are going to have the accurate answer or the accurate value of k that will satisfy that equation. And that value is what we have as, if you insert this to your calculator, you are going to have two point five six that's what you are going to get 2.56 this is the value of k that will satisfy that equation 2.56 so if you type in if you remember the function of if you recall the function k power k equals 11 and inside this value you will have 2.56 Five six raised to the power of two point five six. We are going to have eleven point zero something, 
and this is approximately 11. So this shows the value of k that satisfies this equation is this 2.56. So this is interesting and I believe you have learned something new and you can now know how to apply the lambda wave function. So guys, that is it in this particular video. If you enjoyed this video, kindly leave a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment box. Thank you and goodbye.